everyone. This is Jeff Cowan coming to you from Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk. Welcome back to my podcast entitled Right Service, Write Your Own Paycheck, The Path, The Definite Path to Making Over $100,000 a Year Writing Service in the Automotive Industry in the United States of America and or Canada. And you know what? It's a fact because 20% of the people doing that job as we record this right now are making over six figures, and you can too. All you got to do is keep listening to me. As a matter of fact, keep listening to me and tell your friends about me. Let's bring more friends. Let's get them involved. Let's make this thing a party. You want to? Well, uh, here recently, we've been talking about uh, mistakes that we see service advisors make, and we're going to continue with that theme today. And the reason we're going to is because, as you know, I do, a whole, I do workshops all the time, and, and when I do them, I hear all kinds of stuff from advisors, because especially at some of the public workshops I do, uh, you know, we get the, the advisors in there without their managers and without their superiors, and they really open up and they tell me what they're thinking. They really tell me what they're doing. They really tell me the reasons for that. And one of the biggest mistakes that they make is they fear their customer. Okay? They fear their customer. Now, what do I mean? What I mean is, is, is they fear telling the customer what the customer needs to hear because they fr- they're afraid that if they tell them what they need to hear, the customer is going to leave, the customer is going to give them a bad survey because, man, we're so concerned about these surveys, right? And they're important, but we, we, we work it from the survey side, and we're, we're afraid they're not going to buy from us. We're, we're, we're afraid that they're going to leave us, right? So instead of telling them what they need to hear, we tell them what they want to hear, or we omit information they need to hear, which is the same as not telling them what they need to hear. Now, so what happens is, is the very thing that you are trying to, to, to avoid, you're causing. You're causing the bad survey scores because you're not telling the customer what they need to hear. You're causing your lack of retention because you're not telling the customer what they can hear. You're causing a lack of sales because when you don't tell them what they need to hear, then what they expect to have happen doesn't happen, makes it look like you're ineffective and can't get the job done, so why would I give you more money? So, how do I know this? Well, I know this because, as you know, I've done, I don't know how many workshops I've done to this point. I've worked with literally thousands and thousands of service advisors. I've been on hundreds, if not by this time, thousands of different service drives. And, and, and I've talked to literally thousands of customers who are were, were heat cases, we like to call them, because we do a lot of work in the survey and retention area, so I go and I call customers who complain. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to list to you the five biggest complaints and how every one of them could have been easily solved if the advisor that checked them in simply told the customer what they needed, not what they wanted, but what they needed to hear. So in order, here we go. Here's the biggest complaint I get by far. Number one, I want to know what's really going to happen once I leave my vehicle. What's going to happen to my car? How's it going to go through the shop? How long is it going to take? What what are we looking at budget-wise? What can I expect to have happen? When can I expect telephone calls? When can can I expect text, email, and information from you? That's what they want to know. But we don't tell them. Okay? Instead, in taking control of the situation, we ask the customer what they came in for. They tell us, and we say, oh, that should be easy for our guys to take care of. Let me get in the shop, and I'll call you back in a little while. The customer leaves not really knowing what's going on, so they assume it's likely they're going to get the car back midday, the end of the day, and we, we can't reach that because of whatever reasons. So here's, here's, here's how you solve that. It's real easy. You solve it by telling the customer what they need to hear. Now, if you've written service for just a month or two, you know, that's 15 customers a day is what the average service advisor writes. That's 75 a week. So in one month's time, you'll have been in front of 300 customers. You should, you should get an idea of what's going on here, right? You, 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 you know if what you're looking at, and you know how your shop is loaded and its capabilities, whether or not it's going to require a long stay or, a high, or more from the budget or whatever, and you need to tell them at the initial write-up. Look, Mr. Customer, I want you to rest assured that once our expertly trained technicians get the opportunity to inspect your vehicle and or hook it up to our latest in computerized diagnostic equipment, they'll be able to get this taken care of, so I don't want you to worry about it any any longer. That said, although I'm not a factory trained or an expertly trained technician, and and I can't diagnose diagnose your your concern here fully by simply walking around your vehicle, I can tell you based on my years of years of, of knowledge and experience, that what you described him here today is likely not to be a quick or an easy repair. What we're looking here is easily, I believe, going to take at least all day to get completed. It could easily, again, turn into an overnight stay for your vehicle or require that we keep the vehicle for a, a few days. I wanted to let you know that because I wanted you to be able to plan your day and plan your time so there's no surprises later. That's one of the things you like working with me, Mr. Customers. I may not always tell you what you want to hear, but I'm always going to tell you what you need to hear to make sure this car is running in top shape, give it, delivering the highest amounts of performance. All that said, you couldn't have been smarter to bring the vehicle here because nobody's better at handling these type of situations than me 
me and my expertly trained technicians. We are the best and we will work hard for you. So. Here's the reason people don't say that. Because they're afraid when they say that, the customer's gonna say, that won't work for me, that's not what you told me. They're gonna jump back in their car, they're gonna slam it to gear, peel off the service drive and never come back. And you know what? About two out of 500 of that type of customer will do just that. But you know what the other 498 do? They do the one thing you didn't allow them to do if you didn't tell them what they need to hear. Plan their day. Because when you tell them that, they're gonna respond one of two ways, either A, Boy, I hate it. If, if you can get my car back, it'd be great. But if you have to keep it, you have to keep it. As long as I get it back and it's running, that's what's important. Or they're going to say, that won't work for me. And then you go to step two, which is to give them options. Well, if that doesn't work, all right, would you be interested in a loaner car? Would you be interested, if you offer them, would you be interested in a rental car, a shuttle bus ride? Did you want to call somebody to have, have pick you up and bring you back when it is done? Did you want to reschedule? What did you want to do? And they're not going to go anywhere. They're, they're here. They're, they want to do business with you. And then when they come back, now that they know, let's assume they leave because most of them won't. Let's assume they leave. Most of them won't. When they come back, you're going to get the survey score, the retention, and the sale because what you're telling them is truth and it happens, so it makes it look like you know what you're talking about. So what's the big problem here? Why, how, what do I mean that you're causing your concern? By not telling them what's going on, it's this simple. If you just look at them and say, I'll let you know in a little while, they can't plan their day. You're causing the very problems that you're trying to, that you're trying to uh, get rid of. Number two, I was not told about everything I need. Big, second biggest complaint, I was not told about everything that I, that I need. Now, why do service advisors not do that? Because they don't want to make the care of the customer away because it's too much money. They don't want to scare them away because it's too much time. What's, what, why, is, why does this work against you? By not fully explaining them what they need or what they may need based on what you saw on the walk around, based on their mileage or based on what is on the MPI, they now have a car that, is, that doesn't have everything it needs maintenance and repair wise. And so now one of two things is gonna happen. They're either gonna have to come back and boy, isn't that fun. You know, if going to a service center once a week's not fun enough, going two or three times in the same week's gotta be a freaking party, right? Or their car's gonna break because you didn't tell them what they needed to hear and it's gonna cost them more time and both money. I was not told everything I need. Tell them what they need to hear. Don't tell them what you want to, what they, what they want to hear. Tell them what they need to hear. Now, there's three more complaints that we go over here in a second, but before I do, I want to tell you about something really exciting here. Uh, I, I've got a workshop coming up in Washington, D.C. on the 16th and 17th of May, and you want to be there. I'm going to be there teaching this. It's my six-step road to service department success, and we're going to address all these things that we cover in the podcast like this today. I'm going to show you in-depth ways and give you hundreds of word tracks to handle these very situations. If you're serious as a manager, a business owner, a dealer principal, a service advisor, you want to be or you want your people to be the absolute best they can be, you got to get them in this class. I will show them how to get the maximum sales with no pressure, no arm twisting. Okay, just show them what needs to be done. I'll show them how to get perfect survey scores. Yes, I said perfect. And I'll show them how to get your customer retention above 85% within nine months. You got to get signed up. It's a two-day workshop. It's great. These things, we're just getting unbelievable numbers out of them. You got to be there. Plus, DC's a blast. Also wanted to let you know that we've got other products, so go to AutomotiveServiceTraining.com, AutomotiveServiceTraining.com, and take a look at what we do there. That's where you can also get registered, by the way, for the workshop, or you can simply dial 1-800-248-2931, and anybody that picks up that phone uh, can get that going on uh, for you. We also have the book, Right Service. We also have my new book out, What I've Learned About uh, from, for, from Attending Over 35 Indy 500s, Lessons in Sales, Motivation, Leadership, Management, and Life in General. This book is flying off the shelf now. There's a lot of businesses out there, and what they do is they'll buy a book, they'll read a chapter with their staff, and then they'll talk about it the next week, read the next chapter, and whatever. That's a, this is a perfect book for that. What I do is I give you something that happened on the track at Indy, give you a lesson I learned from it, show you how I applied it to my life, and how you can apply it to your life and your business, and then give you some points to ponder. It's a great book, and even if you're an individual, you're not a business owner, you could do, read that book that same fashion, one chapter a week, and you'd be stunned. People are loving this book. Back to the podcast. Number three, how you're killing yourself here, okay, by not telling the customer what they what they need to hear. Number three, here's what your customers tell me. I was not told how long it would take to get checked in. All right. I mean, <laughs> I can't tell you it's countless, and some of you are gonna say there's no way anybody would ever do that. It happens all the time when I'm getting ready to describe is, uh, hey, I want to bring my car in tomorrow. Can you guys do that? Yeah, we, 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 we get you in. You can get me in tomorrow? Yeah, what time do you guys open? 7 o'clock. So I can come in at 7 o'clock? Yeah, if you want to come in at 7 o'clock, come in at 7 o'clock. 
you know, or you have multiple people scheduling for you and whatever, and the customer gets here, thinks it's going to be a simple thing of come in, give you my name, give my keys, and I'm in and out in five minutes, and they get there and realize it takes 15 minutes, it, it, it whacks them out. You know, they can't plan their morning. you got to let them know. Mr. Customer, now we've, just, now we've established the time and date that you're going to come in. Let me take a few seconds here to explain to you what's going to happen once you do arrive. First and foremost, you want to be here as close to your check-in time as you can because getting here early means you have to wait. Getting here late could result in you losing your place in line. Once you do arrive here, your service advisor, which may be me or somebody else, will have all the information you just gave me on the telephone. And what they will do is spend a couple of minutes going over it with you again to make sure it was written down correctly, to make sure we understand your concerns and to see if anything needs to be added to the list. Once that's done, you and the service advisor will then walk around your vehicle to do a quick visual inspection and, and just check out the condition of the vehicle. And then once that is completed, based on what you see and what you discuss, we'll determine which one of our expertly trained technicians is best to do the diagnosis and repair. And once that's determined, we'll take a look at their, their, their uh, schedule, which will dictate approximately when your vehicle enters our state-of-the-art facility here. Okay, plan on this taking uh, no more than 15 minutes. You know, I mean, if something comes up, it could be a little bit longer, but we get the average person in and out of here in less than 15, 15 minutes. Now they know it's going to happen. Now they know how long it's going to take. Now they can plan. There's no complaint. You get the survey score. You get the retention. They come back. When you just tell them what they want to hear, you're killing yourself. Number four, I was not told how long a repair would take. Now, we kind of addressed that earlier, but if you're not telling them the facts, all you're doing is setting yourself up for no survey score or the one that you don't want. You're setting yourself up for no return customer, no retention, and you're setting yourself up for no extra maintenance sales or repair sales or any of that stuff. I literally four weeks ago was doing a private workshop for a very large group in the Washington DC area. Now, in this group, there was a service advisor there who wrote service and had been writing service for six years. This guy, okay, was a great guy, was literally making over $145,000 a year writing service. When we talked about this in class, everybody was like, oh, you can't tell your customers that because you tell them that, they're going to blah, 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 <laughs> right? All right, get over it, all right? This guy literally got up by his chair and stood up and said, you know what, I've been sitting here for the last four or five hours and I've been listening to him and I've been listening to you people whine. Let me tell you the facts of the matter. I am not bragging. You all know that I pretty much lead the leaderboard out of the 80 service advisors we have. I'm always in the top four or five. I'm not bragging. It's a fact. I'm trying to make a point. You also all know that I make well over $145,000 a year doing what I'm doing. And do you know that our shop is so big and so full that if somebody comes in for anything above and beyond routine maintenance and they don't have a check or they don't have a check in time, they just walk in, every one of those customers to the point of about 12 of my customers a day, I have to tell them that they have to leave the car for overnight and in most instances for two days to get done what they came in for. And you know what they do? They leave the vehicle because I let them know what they need to hear from the time I get them on the phone to the time they arrive throughout the, the entire time the vehicle's there until they pick it up and I do my follow-up so they can plan. And you know, they leave their vehicles. They do what they came in for. They do all the extra stuff we do. They give me perfect survey scores. I'm, I'm typically at the top of the survey scores in, in our leaderboards in the company and in my district. I, I, get, I get outstanding survey scores. They've got the retention and I'm making money. So if you tell them what they want to hear, he said, you're going to lose. If you want to tell them what they need to hear so they can plan their day, you'll win. Nothing to fear with your customers. You know, think about it when you go to places. You know, how mad do you get mad when you walk to the doctor and they say, I'll oh, come in just for a quick checkup. We'll have you in and out here in an hour and then it takes two or three hours. What do you do? You complain. You're mad. Why? Because you ruined your day. You're doing the same thing to your customers if you don't tell them what they need to hear. And then finally, number five, I was not told how much it was going to be. Now, this one here, what I mean by this is, is they're, they're surprised by some add-ons that you didn't tell them about. That's rare, but it's usually they're surprised by extra fees or possibly uh, the, 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 uh, labor, the labor charges or the diagnostic charges. It's usually these fees that are somewhere in the $50 to $100, $100 range. You know, you don't tell them, and the reason you don't tell them is because you fear your customers. You're afraid they're going to get mad. Tell them up front so they can make the right decisions. Tell them up front so they can plan. What you're trying to prevent, with your, if you fear your, fear your customer, you're trying to prevent bad survey scores, what you're trying to prevent, low retention, what you're trying to prevent, lack of sales, you're causing if you're telling the customer what they want to hear and not what they need to hear. It's pure fear. You'll never be successful and maximize the opportunity if you can't get over this fear. Now, I will admit this before I go. If you are afraid of your customers and you've been telling them for a number of months or years what they want to hear and you've struggled with this, 
To get this turned around will take you three to six months because you're going to retrain your customers and you may see your survey scores dip a little. You may see your retention dip a little. You may, and I want to stress the word may, see your sales dip a little because you're going to retrain your customers and some of these customers aren't going to like the new you, all right? But, but, but that, that is, there's a very slight chance that will happen. But what will happen when you start telling your customers what they need to hear instantly and certainly within three months, you're going to, see, you're going to have a different experience. You're going to have less heat. It's not even going to take three months. It's going to take three or four weeks because it's going to happen instantaneous. You're going, to have, you're going to have happier customers. You're not going to get yelled at as much. You're going to have the less heat. You're going to get a, your, your, your perfect survey scores are going to soar. Your customer retention is going to go through the roof and you're, you'll get an instant five tenths to an hour depending on where you, are, where you are right now like that because when you tell the customer what they need to hear, you set the expectation, then you can manage that expectation, and you're always gonna you're always gonna be able to exceed it because you are in control and you're telling them. You can deliver on reality, you can't deliver on omissions, and you can't deliver on false information. It's one of the big fears I see, it's one of the big mistakes I see advisors make. You stop doing it if you're doing that, okay? It's no good for anybody. Hey, my name is Jeff Cowan. I have a company called Jeff Cowan's Pro Talk, and I love working with service advisors and service managers all across this great land of ours and up in Canada and not soon to be over in London, over in Australia where we have a satellite office and all these other places. I love doing it. So. Thank you for listening. Buy the books. Get signed up for the, 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 the workshops. And uh, do me a favor. Between now and next week, I want you to go out and get as many customers as you can handle. And I want you to get them excited about your product. I want you to sell them on your, I want you to close them on your product. I want you to collect that commission. And I want you to start living the life you so deserve. If you're going to be there 10 hours a day, maximize the opportunity, make six figures, and live life. Because the, you know what I'm going to do between now and next week? Exactly that. Make it a great one. Buy the book. Sign up for the workshop seat. My name is Jeff Cowan. See you soon.